Well, I talked before about how China was not happy about the THAAD systems being brought into South Korea and demanded that South Korea remove the THAAD systems or tell the United States to take them, take them out of there. So what China is going to do here is continue with their own drills. They have been conducting these drills in the Yellow Sea with their new destroyer, but now they're going to pick things up and they're going to push on through with their weapons test. Now, I believe they're going to ramp things up pretty big here because they say that the STAD system in South Korea is breaking the balance in the region. Now, some could say that these weapons could be used as an offensive, although the United States is saying that these are being used as a defensive posture to protect South Korea and obviously against Pyongyang. China, however, is insisting that these things could be used for many different reasons. Although they're listed as being designed to intercept short, medium, and intermediate range ballistic missiles during their terminal flight phase, it is equipped with long-range radar that is believed to be capable of intercepting North Korea's intermediate range ballistic missiles. Now, they could tip these things with just about anything. This is set up on a massive system, a network, okay, that reads, that picks up off of satellite, that bounces back down to the ground, and connects to the warships that they can have on both flanks to try to zero in on these positions. Now, when they launch, these things will pick up and try to track down any missile in the air and try to, to target it and take it out in the sky. Now, if they miss, they miss. I'm not so sure what else they're going to be able to throw at any incoming missiles if they don't have the THAAD in South Korea. The question is, is will they flip the switch from a defensive posture to an offensive posture with this technology? Because this can be set up to do a whole plethora of different things. And China knows this. So now we're going to have China back out in the Yellow Sea picking up their live fire drills, picking up their exercises, and testing new weapons. So the Korean Peninsula right now with a lot of tension around it, obviously. North Korea has popped off their largest ever live fire drill. You have the U.S., its armada, and all the allies off on the eastern flank and out on the western flank in the Yellow Sea. You now have China going on with more drills and not happy about this whole THAAD deployment. So we'll see where things go here in terms of the THAAD deployment that's staying there right on China's front doorstep. And I, I really... They do not see them going out of the way, bringing all this military hardware across the ocean, staging it in South Korea to do nothing. Now, this could be a stalemate for months, but at some point, North Korea is going to pull off another test. It's a given. The response to that is what everyone's waiting for. What will happen then? But that's some of the latest here. China going to continue on with these drills and weapons tests in response to this THAAD deployment. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Peace.